Hello YouTube. Yes, I'm uh, I'm alive and back. Uh, been away, so uh, that's why um, I've been about, obviously. So uh, yeah, I haven't disappeared. I haven't gone anywhere. Just had a had a break. So yeah, I'm back. Um, trades, pickups, and uh, car boot. Tails from the booter, and just to kick it off, a nice cup of hot. You know it's fucking roasting. The only decent thing that McDonald's do is a coffee. So, sorry Carl. But I do love my coffee. And that, they do do a nice cup of coffee. Mm. Okay. So yeah, it feels like I've been gone ages, but it's only been a week. Or so. Uh, two weeks actually, sorry. Two weeks. Um, did a trade just before I went with a uh, fellow YouTuber. Uh, by the name of John Williamson, uh, I'll link it down below. Uh, not the the, the wonderful comp music composer, although I think he does work in the uh, games industry. I'm sure he said that. So we did a trade. Uh, what did he get? What did we, what did we do? Ah, it's one of the DS games. Um, Mario DS game. Uh, he had gave quite a few bits that was interesting actually. So I set it on, on two of the games anyway, very kindly set them over. Um, one of them, one of them, I think it is a PS1 game as well. But anyway, so I picked up Gradius 3 and 4 on the PS2 from him. All complete, all there. And Ark Twilight of the Spirits. So Ark the Lad, isn't it? What's it? God. Ark the Lad. Oh, it's up there somewhere. So yeah, anyway, the. Uh, the PS2 version, I like Twilight Spirits. So thanks to them, John. Really appreciate them. Alright. So. I'm not sure uh, where to go next. Um, we'll leave the book to the end as usual. Um, where did I get these from? Charity Shop. Charity Shop. Wonderful, wonderful. I couldn't after this this charity shop find. Um, I did all run out about going to the car boot day because I, I woke up and I thought, do I yeah, do I need to go kind of thing? Uh, but I thought no, no, I'll go because it's always one of them ones that if, if if you don't go, you never know. That's my, what I always say. I was sat to the wife. She's anything good there? And like say for some weeks are a bit naff or whatever. Not really. Oh, well, where did you go? And I said, look, if you don't go, you never know. And it's a never knowing that always kills me. So anyway, enough waffle. So, right, a couple of bits from the uh, from the charity shops. PS One games. Picked this up for a quid. Uh, don't think I've got it. I remember seeing it. I think it's out in the Dreamcast as well. Uh, Urban Chaos. It's a quid. Now these two are interesting. This one I picked up not because of the game. Um, the, the sort of, you know, the actual game itself because it's a fucking sports game because it's one of the early releases uh, and that's Madden NFL 97 and that is release number 436 all complete in wonderful condition now this one was interesting this was this was with the Madden game um, I think it was about a pound or something this is definitely an Australian game right I know that much sorry got a hangnail there um, but it's a power release but I don't think it ever got a UK release, which will kind of make sense when I show you the game. So I don't know, other than that, don't really know anything else about it. So it's AFL 99, so American, Australian Football League. So I'll, basically, Auss Aussie rules football. Um, but again, that's a quid. I mean, a few of these were before I went away, so my mind's a bit fuzzy. This was 150 from Charity Shop. On the Wii, Wii game, Overlord Dark Legend. By Climax, actually, I didn't know it was by Climax, so yeah. Climax and Codemasters. <clears throat> Apparently, I'm sure someone said this was like, what's his name, Metal Jesus Rocks or whatever, one of the hidden, the, the Wii hidden gem or whatever, but £1.50, not bad. Um, 
where did I pick this one up from? Oh, this was Saturday Car Boot before I went away. So yeah, a couple of weeks back now. I knew, I wonder why. I think it's about 50p. I'm sure it's 50p. Yeah, because I bought some other ones. I'm look, yeah, looking down here, yeah, because they're duplicate. So I do have my list. So I've gone to Saturday Car Yeah, so I put this in the park because this is the only one that, that, that's compatible that I needed. So uh, it's in wonderful condition. So the, yeah, these are 50p, it's two quid. So Tiger Woods 07. And then the other ones that I, I just grabbed because I thought, oh, I'm not sure. And for 50p, i.e. two quid, I thought, fuck it. Uh, the Godfather. I'm sure this is compatible, you know, but obviously not. Uh, Madden 2003. All complete, all there. And Champ Manager Season 0203. So if anyone's interested in the last three games, Champ Manager, Madden, or The Godfather, give us a shout. Um, I was convinced that The Godfather was, was compatible, but it's obviously not the case. Right. The best. The best. The sing singly, the best charity shop find for me, Barnum, this is. Uh, I couldn't believe it when I seen it in there. So there's a charity shop that I go to, and I know the lady there, she's really nice, get on with her, have a crack, have a laugh, etc. And obviously she lets me go sort of into the stores, which is really, really nice of her, I must admit. Um, and this, this, that, it, it's the same store where I've got the box of PlayStation games, and it's where I've got these two games from, and it fucking pays dividends, honestly. So, I say, I, I hadn't been, been in for a couple of weeks, I sort of told her I was going away in that. So we just chatted like, you know, I was your old day, blah, 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 etc. She said, oh, you can, you know, pop, pop out the back if you want. She says, I don't know what's out there. And that, that's all she sort of says. So I wander out there. There's another lady there that I know, an old lady, sorts some stuff out. And funny enough, the older lady was the one that pointed out the, place, the back of a bag of PlayStation games to me. And I uh, just sort of said hello to her and this, that, and the And I looked, just looked down, straight down, and I just seen this fucking game line on the top. And at first I thought it was for the Wii. And I just double took, and I was like, Kept my, kept my cool, they, they were actually already priced up, so these were due to go out. So, it's just, it, like I say, it's, it, all this is just pure luck. There's no fucking, nothing clever about it, no, no science or anything like that. It's just all luck. It's all been at the right place at the right time. All it is. So, there are two games. One, The one that's awesome was on the top. So I picked that up and, I thought, and initially I thought it might be a fucking gold mine because it's in like a fruit box. And I was like, getting a bit, little bit carried away with myself. And I lifted, lifted it up, and there was the other one underneath. I thought, yes, and I kept going, and it just went DVDs there. And I was like, oh, fuck. But then it didn't matter when you see what I've got. So the game that was underneath the one is, um, and I think this has been changed out. Well, I know it has. I know the case has been changed out. So I've got another, another copy of the Wind Waker double disc. Now, as you can see, it's not in the gold box. Uh, so at first I thought it was a place choice, another place choice comes in a silver one, but it's not because it's obviously black label. So at some point someone's obviously cracked the case. And to be fair, they've swapped it and they've swapped it for a proper, you know, double disc or so. Now the only downside to this, the discs are fine, is whoever whoever had it um, just become obsessed with the manuals falling to pieces because I don't know if you can see. They must have not wanted the edges to get. They put like sellotape, clear sellotape. You can just about see that. There's no, there's no need for it. There's no rips. There's no rips on it. They're just like really weirdly obsessed. It's got a little bit bobbling. I don't think that's just from heat, you know. But um, and on, on, on the inside, just obsessed with the manuals coming come apart. It's just odd. It's really odd. Um, unless someone's took the staples out. No, the staples are still in there. So I don't. I don't know, go figure, weird people. But the manual's there, I mean, it's not It's not the best manual, because obviously it's got this sellotape on it, but it's it's all there, there's nothing wrong with it. The discs are there. Just double check, I, I did check all these. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely pristine. So, if anyone's interested in a copy, okay, it's not got the gold case of the Wind Waker, I could probably let you have that for, I don't know, it's like 22 quid delivered or something like that. Give me a shout. Uh, but as you can see, £1.45. 
So, to be honest, I should have done these last. This is why I'm under that. I should have kept this till last. But I'm going to keep with my normal, um, you know, agenda. My, you know, that I, I do from the videos. It's the game I seen when I walked in. Lying on the top in this box, and I was fucking couldn't believe. It. I thought it was the Wii version. So some of you might have clocked on off of that. I've got myself probably one of the second toughest, maybe, I don't know, depends uh, who you speak to or whatever, of the GameCube games, and it is uh, the Twilight Princess. And there you go, another £1.45. So, and again, whoever it is, I mean, the discs and that's fine, but I'll show you. Because one, that one actually is, is missing the um, consumer information. But even the consumer information, whoever it is, look, there's still fucking tape on the consumer information. Who does that? So they're weird. And they didn't, obviously, they've done it on, to be fair, it's only on the on the spine that they've done it on, on this one, which, thank God. As you can see it there. But, what a weirdo. What an absolute weirdo. But I am just so fucking chuffed. So as you can imagine, I think I picked them up Friday. Yeah, I did Friday. Um, you know, got that and I was like, just thought, what? Car boot can't be, unless I get another copy of this or whatever, or uh, Chibi Chibi Robo or whatever you call it. Which I think is one of the sort of tougher ones to find. Um, yeah, <laughs> clearly it's like, doesn't matter what the car boot does now, because I'm well happy, I'm well chuffed. Um, so yeah, that's that's all the out and about. Right, car boot, the old booter. Mm. Okay, I've been there for a couple of weeks, seeing a couple of the guys um, that I normally don't speak to, and uh, he just sort of said, "Oh, last week worked very good. It was, it was quite small." Um, because apparently it was raining, I don't know, because I was in Turkey and it's 45 degrees, so I couldn't give a shit. Um, but he said it was, it was raining, it wasn't very big kind of thing. Um, and I didn't see me, me two lizard mates, they weren't there, so I don't know if, please God, Touchwood, they've, they've had enough and they've gone to another one. I doubt it, they've probably just gone on holiday as well. Um, but I did bump into my mate Rich, uh, I'll call him Retroactive Rich, um, UK retro game addict. Uh, he said he actually went to the same one last week and he picked a few bits up so perhaps they weren't there last week as well because they would have just hoovered all that up so I don't know I'm not gonna hedge I'm not gonna hold too much hope out they'll, they'll be back no doubt so yeah lizard free week and uh, wouldn't you just know it it weren't that great it, I mean it was big and all that but they just weren't there weren't much doing at all really um, you know in, in relation kind of thing so yeah I'll crack on to it um, I pick up I pick up I pick up I pick up picked up a couple of DVDs, not manga or anything, but I thought I'd show them because I did sort of say if I, if I picked up the odd one I'd, I'd show them. Some old boy, he, he's a, you know, fucking boxes of war videos and stuff and he had some war DVDs, um, excuse me, one of these bo one of them was a box set and I've been at this for ages and it just, even at the car boot people are asking like, what, well, yeah, a substantial amount of money for it, so I managed to pick, got I've chucked another one in just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Um, so I've got both these for three quid, which ain't bad. So two quid for the box set, a pound for this other one. So it's not really much to anybody, but the longest day, I do like John Wayne and stuff. So, and I thought, wow, it's a collector's edition one. Like I say, he was into his war films. This is one I was after mainly, to be honest. So I've got um, the complete on DVD box set of uh, the Band of Brothers for two quid. It's a really good series. I mean, most, I haven't what I'd started. I think was it when it's on TV. I'd sort of jumped in between it, yeah, uh, in between it, in, in intercepted into episodes. So I've never really sat and watched it from start to finish. Um, but yeah, really good. So it's basically like Saving Saving Private Ryan, the series, you know, series if you like. Really good. Right, games, game stuff. Okay. Mm. I love that coffee. 
Right, I've got another one of them actually, I'm going to have to nip up and grab that in a minute. Okay, um, like I said, big car boot. Can't remember when I picked them up, I can't remember in what, what order exactly. Uh, one of the reseller people that I know, there, they, um, they all alternate week in, week out, they'll sort of turn up with, I don't know what it is, like electronic goods, electrical goods really. And then the next week they'll come with like the games. And I don't know what it is, every single time I fucking ask them, they was, oh, next week for the games. So I asked them this week, and sure enough, they ain't got the games. But he goes, oh no, I've got one tray. So he went and got the tray, and it was um, N64 snares. There weren't anything, you know, outstanding in there at all, or anything like that. But I picked up two games that I didn't have. I'm doing all right deal, two quid each, so four quid. Not going to argue too much about that. Um, so the first one that I know I haven't got is Starshot Space Circus Fever. Yeah, it's Fever, yeah. Don't know anything about this at all. And then the other one, which I wouldn't ordinarily have picked up, but it's just by the, you know, who made it, the developers. So it's Virtua Soccer, and this is Super Nintendo. Virtua Soccer by Hudson Soft. So I don't know if it's any good, I don't know if it's a, if it's a pile of crap, but what, what are you going to do? You know, I don't, you know, say I don't generally see, well, I don't really see Super Nintendo games out and about now, so I thought for two quid each, nah, fuck it, I love them. Um, let me go again now, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a lady there selling a load of clothes, a load of kids' clothes. And I just happened to look down and I seen um, Grand Theft Auto, but it's in the CD and I thought it might be music CD, so there's loads of these CDs strewn on the floor. So I started flipping through and I realised all the PC games, that's how much they are, 50p each, I was like, Ugh. so I picked four anyway and I just sort of said, oh look, will you do, do them for 25p, I quid, I said yeah, so I just took a punt on really, to be honest. Um, so for 25p each I picked up the original Grand Theft Auto, so these are all PC, Sin, this game was awesome, I remember playing this on the PC. Fucking love this game, Half Life. And uh, Carmageddon 2, Carpocalypse Now. So, yeah, I don't know. There, there might just be trade fodder, there might be, you know, moving them on or whatever, but for 25p, can't be bad. Um, another random one. Mainly picked this up for the inserts, I'm pretty sure mine's missing it. Uh, Die, Hard, Die Hard Trilogy 2, Viva Las Vegas. 10p. 10p, there's no manual, it's got a disc in there. But I mainly wanted it for that because I'm sure my copy is missing that. So, tempting. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I'll do that in a minute. Let me just go and grab my coffee. Just bear with me. Another DVD, I forgot about that. Um, another DVD, because the wife's got me looking for uh, Magic Mike, fucking some fucking strip of thing, I don't know what it is. So, anyway, digging in the box of DVDs again, as you do. Seeing this, I was like, oh, awesome! Uh, it's only the first collection one of it, it's in the steel book, but I remember this as a kid, so I've got, uh, I'm, I'm assuming it's season one, it says collection one of Voltron in the steel box, so I don't know if anyone remembers Voltron where you had all the different cats and they all formed to a giant mech, uh, I didn't realise it was a manga one back, back in the day, and it's, you know, I don't think there's any uh, paraphernalia in there, but all discs are there, so yeah, that's a quid, so that's DVDs done, right, um, Another reseller type guy that was there. That I sort of know. Well, I say hello to him, isn't it? He knows I'm a collector, not a reseller. Um, 
And to be honest, the last oh God, couple of weeks back when I last seen him, he had all made modern stuff, and I sort of just chatted to him, sort of saying, "Got the old stuff, I ain't bought it, don't bring it." But today, actually, he had quite a bit. He had some um, old, you know, PS1, more GameCube, and all sort of some a few bits of cartridges and stuff, which was which was good. So went through, picked out a few bits. These are mainly fillers. There's nothing. Well, I don't know what one of the games I'm, I'm quite chuffed to get, but there's nothing really outstanding. He did me a deal. So I've got all these for seven quid. Um, so I picked up for let's say these weren't even at the price though. I've got all of this for seven quid. Uh, wasn't sure if I had this or not before that for a quid of biscuit. So slide on the game gear. I'm not sure if I've got that. Um, this one I was, I was, was the one I was quite chuffed to get. Um, I don't know if it's hard to get hold of or whatever, but it's an awesome game nonetheless. So the PS1, I've got Bubble Bobble, also featuring Rainbow Islands, and that is release 448 again without the Ningi, so that's quite cool. Again, it says two quid there. They're all priced up because it's a reseller. Trader, whatever you want to call it, Trader. And three GameCube games, again, purely because they haven't got them. One of them I think is missing the manual. So we've got WWE Crush Hour, a bit of Cube Love, uh, Metal Arms Glitch in the System. Complete. This one's missing the manual. This is the one that's missing the manual. Yeah. World Tour. So not bad. So what we got? One, two, three, four, five, five games, seven quid. That's not bad. I don't know. Weren't too fussed with that. Weren't too bothered. Quite happy to pay that. Right. Oh yeah, random Wii game. Just sat down the top. Woman reckons she bought it for her to play, not for her kids. Wanted two quid, said we take a pound. She said, yeah, this is purely just to move on. Yeah, truth, oh, I'm not going to lie to you. Either if someone's interested in there, or I'll, I'll, I'll move on somewhere else. Uh, Resident Evil and Bre uh, the Umbrella Chronicles. It's all complete. Pound. What are you going to do? So that's that. This one, I did, I've had this loads of times in the past before, before I was collecting. Uh, for the Xbox, and I kept meaning to sort of think, oh, well, next time I'll see it, I'll get it. I've never seen it since day 50p. Um, I remember earlier in, in the morning, this guy had a 360 that you reckon he was given. Uh, one of the other sort of guys who buys it literally fucking anything uh, asked him about it. It was gone, so yeah, I'm guessing he bought it. But they only had this one random game there. Uh, fortunately for me, it's one I needed. So it's Halo 2 multiplayer maps, 50p. So that completes all the halos that I needed on the uh, on the old Xbox One. Right. This is an interesting one. Sticking with the Xbox theme. Uh, there's a chap there, and every so often he gets quite a lot of um, retro stuff, you know, old games, even old computer games and stuff like that. Usually he's quite fair with his prices. Uh, he weren't budging on any of these ones. He had a load, load of PS2 and, and Xbox. £1.50 across the board, which is fine to be fair. It's not individually pricing them. So there could have been like a right cracking game in that and he would have only paid £1.50. Um, add me less. I checked it and I'm still not sure if this is the right one. Uh, so I paid £1.50 for it and it's uh, Shadow Ops Red Mercury. Okay. On my list it says Shadow Ops that's compatible, so I don't know if it's just abbreviated to shorten the name down to Shadow Ops or if this is just like a second one. If it is, then I'm fucked. So I'm paid one pound fifty for a game that I don't really want, kind of thing. Coffee's giving me the sweats now. Hmm. Deviating slightly, still in the gaming thing. This is still, this is all Carl's fault, Ocarina fella. I'm fucking obsessed with looking for Pokemon stuff now. So there's a lady there, had a little tub. A shitload of, no, not a shitload, that's not a lie. A handful of figures. So how much your figures? She had 20p each. I said, oh, we'll take a pound for a lot. She said, yeah. So I grabbed them for a quid. I know nothing about them. They're all proper ones though. So I've got this little dude, little mollusk or whatever he is. 
Looks like Simpsons fucking toy, that does. I don't know. This little one. That one. That thing. That crab. Some bulldog. Uh, this one guy's got rattles or spoons. I think it's Bulbasaur. I think I know him. I could be wrong. No, it's not. It's not Bulbasaur. And the sleepy dude. Yeah, so they're a pound. I say. Carl's fault. Mm. Sticking with um, merchandise, if that's the right word. Got me sit down Yoshi for 50p. It's quite good. Usually it's always the bigger ones that sort of stand up, but a little sit down Yoshi. Not bad. Right. Oh, I get sweaty now. Jeez. Uh, there's a little young lady, young woman there, young woman, whatever. Um, just setting up after they got the game. She said, Yeah, yeah, I got these. Literally, as I asked her, she pulled the bag and had a load of PS2 games in there. PS1 games. Pulling them out, there was nothing that great. Looked for them all, picked some out, and sort of said, Oh, I'm a child. She sort of, uh, I think, said a pound each. I've got these for three quid, which is not alright. I couldn't remember if one or two of them were. One or, Sorry, two of them I definitely knew I've got. The other two I didn't weren't sure, so I thought I'd grab them anyway. So this one I know I definitely got. It's, it is missing the manual. Disc probably is a good clean to be honest. It looks a little bit. It should play all right though. So that is Splatterhouse. Splatterhouse. Splattermaster. Sorry, I oh, like the rip off of Splatterhouse. I have got that. If anyone's interested, give me a shout. I'll, I'll test again. If anyone's interested. This looks like it needs a bit of a clear. I think it'll work. It's a blue disc. It's got loads of surface scratches on it. If anyone's interested, I can test it and let you know anyway. Uh, Platinum Edition. Again, you can tell these are kids. Surface scratches on them. Not perfect this by any stretch. Uh, Kingdom Hearts, first one. So if no one's interested, I'll just see X or something. I don't know. These, these are the two that I weren't sure if I had or not. Um, late release game, Ben 10 Alien Force. Complete. And upside down manual in that for some reason. Batman Rise of Shin Zhu. So there were them, three quid. I just didn't think it was too bad. Right, young couple, young lad and his missus uh, asked if we got any games, said yeah I've got some in the, in the van, pulled the bag out, look f uh, box rather, look through. Now, I can't remember where this come from, I was watching someone else's video on these and uh, they sort of said oh yeah you, you can play these on the PS3 and uh, so I googled it, had a look and there's a you can't actually play the games, but you can use the content of the disc. Uh, so I mean, they're not for me, they're for my daughter, because she's, she's got the PS3. Um, but I've seen these tons of times, I just thought, oh, she, she's not going to be interested in playing them on the PS2. Uh, and then, uh, I, I was looking, I was looking at something, and someone said, oh, well, a couple of them go for like, good money as well. <clears throat> not fucking hell, well, I'll keep an eye out for them. So I've seen them today, uh, along with a couple of Xbox games. So I've picked up three SingStar games, no microphones. The amount of times I've passed up the microphones is ridiculous. I think the theory is you need to have the PS3 SingStar game. You put that in, you go like load into the song or something, and then you eject the disc and you can put one of these in and it reads the content. <clears throat> so, you know, you're not having to pay twice, which I think is quite good. These mean nothing to me, right? So I've got SingStar R&B, all complete. SingStar 80s. And then Sing Star Legends. Okay. And then two Xbox games. You had quite a few Xbox games. Check my list. These are the only two that look compatible. Uh, so I've got Fight Night Round 3. All complete. You know, really well looked after, to be honest. Team's still got the Duba. And uh, FIFA Street. 
all complete there with old uh, Ronaldinho on the front. So I only got there five there, so I got them four quid, which I thought weren't bad. Um, anyone can confirm, deny, otherwise about that SingStar. Let let me know if there's a certain version that you need to get the PS3 from to work. And also the microphones. I've just heard, heard, read that uh, as long as they're USB mics, they sh should work fine. Okay, near the end now. I'm slowly mounting here. Although it's not really sunny, sunny, it is really close, really clammy. Okay, probably the find of the day, car boot wise. Um, there's a family there, mum and dad, two daughters, <clears throat> just sort of setting up and stuff. And I just sort of said, Oh, do you happen to have, you know, got the old video games, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, we've got some. They said, No, he said, Oh, we haven't got any old ones, so we've only got DS ones. And I was like, Oh, have a look. So I just sort of said, Oh, they had like one of these big wagon things. So always, are they buried in there? And um, he went, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his wife went, Oh, no. They pulled out a chest of drawers. Said, "Oh, they might. They think they're in the drawers." So to be fair, they used the brains to put some of the stuff they're bringing in the actual chest of drawers. Drawer. So sure enough, opened the drawer up, and there's some DS games. And his daughter said, "Oh, and she, she must have had some." She said, "Oh, mine are in the front of the car. I'll go and get them." So she went off to the front of the car. I looked in the drawer, looked through the games. I sort of said, "How much are they?" He goes, and he did that fucking thing. Does made in. Oh, depends which one. Oh, for fuck's sake. There weren't anything great in there. There's one game that. Thought, yeah, I'm interested in that. Now this is a kicker. The daughter comes back this way, holding a holding a sort of DS game, like about four or five of them. The fucking other guy that I know, the sort of trader guy, as she's walking over, I've got this other game man. As she's walking over with this game, and one of the games on top, he went out to get it, and I went, hey, she went and got them for me. The fucking bastard was about to steal. I said, first come, I asked, I asked first. Um, but she was going to give him the games as well, which really pissed me off. I thought, I fucking asked you about the games. Um, which is really lucky, because the game, I mean, in question, when you see it, no wonder he fucking went to grab it. So anyway, um, the game out of the drawer, that I was after, which I've got, which is uh, Mario Slam Basketball. All complete, I think got the points in there. So it was that one. This was a game on top. I can believe it. Uh, Pokemon Diamond. That has got the points scratched off. I don't know if they've been um, claimed. I'll, I'll try that. Um, I have got one of these. I don't know if it's this one though. Um, but yeah, so discussed the price. This, that, new. I went back and forth. Ended up getting a pair of them for seven quid. So three pound fifty a game there. Let me just check that Pokemon Diamond. So I know there's one of them that I've got. Oh no, I've got Pearl. Hey! So I've got Diamond and Pearl now. Both in the car boot. Let me just check it. Yeah, Pearl. So Diamond and Pearl. Awesome. I was going to, if I had that, I was going to be moved on obviously. Um, so yeah, so £3.50 each. That was that. I think my mate weren't too happy, but. Yeah, I'm not having that. I did ask. They clearly, they knew what I asked first. So that was that. Walked around, blah blah blah. Second swoop, sort of went past their stall again, and I seen this game on the top. I thought that weren't there before, and I sort of said to the guy, I said, "Oh, I don't remember seeing this one." He goes, "Oh no, we found that at the bottom. It fell down in the chest of drawers. It fell off the back into the bottom of it or whatever." Because when someone went to pick it up, they took all the drawers out, and it was down on the bottom. Um, so I just said, oh, are they still three quid each? Wink, wink, kind of thing. And he went, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I had bought two off you earlier, it was £3.50, but anyway. Um, and they had a joke, they sort of said, oh, some little lad has just been hassling his dad and went off crying because his dad wouldn't buy it him. Trying to make me feel bad, I was like, fuck that. Uh, so for three quid, I don't know if it's any good, I picked up Star Fox Command. Again, it's all complete. And it's got the points not scratched off. Awesome. Um, yeah, for three quid. So they sort of said, Oh, do you feel bad about it? And I went, No. I said, It's a bad dad, he should have bought it. Um, so yeah, that's that, that, that was it from the car boot. Um, I say, Not. 
I was hoping because the lizards weren't there, it, it was going to be a bit better, you know, in terms of more stuff available. It, it's just one of them. It just goes to show that, you know, if, if they're stuff ain't now, stuff ain't now. Um, now, I have got some SNES stuff, some SNES games, uh, six. Oh, that's the best way to explain this. Um, there's someone that I know, like a, a contact, if you like, and she gets the odd bits of Bob's ear there and everywhere. And she uh, got a Super Nintendo, couldn't get to work, etc. So I, I was sort of chatting to her, trying to have to get to work. She couldn't do it. So I, after the car boot, popped over there and got it working for her. Um, and to be fair, you know, we sort of agreed that uh, there was a couple of games like this, this, from this back batch that she'd got, uh, I think she bought it for a nephew or something, and she said, oh, you know, I'm quite happy to tell you, you have a couple, and she, basically, the SNES that she had, she didn't have any AV lead with it, I was trying to explain to her about the RF lead, and, and it was just going literally over it, so I had a, 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 a sort of third party, uh, multi adapter one that I'd got from the car boot for about 50p, so I took that over, got it all working, and so I picked these games up. There's probably one that I thought oh, I should really grab that. Uh, then I thought well, it's because for a nephew and that stuff. So I'm, I'm happy enough, right? So we agreed five games, and she, she gave me an extra one. She said I'll oh, take this extra one because you know for messing me about. So the extra one, I think I'm not sure if I've got it. I think I might have it. It's Striker. I mean, the probably fucking worst game to give me, but nevertheless, it's free. It's technically free. Um, so then the other ones, right, this one I've got, but this one will cover any sort of fuel costs or anything like that, is uh, Mario Kart. So that's up for grabs if anyone's interested. It's a duplicate. These ones, right, now these ones, I think, I need, I need to check on this one. I think this might be the better one on the console. I can't remember. I remember Crash Test Day Gaming saying one of them uh, is, is the better. Of, of all of the series, uh, that's NHL 95. No, Monk, it's probably 94. And then the other three that I was definitely, you know, quite happy to get. Um, first up is the Incredible Crash Test Dummies, or Crash Dummies. Micro Machines. And probably the pick of the bunch, other than if you didn't already have Mario Kart, is a uh, Total Carnage. I love it. So yeah, not bad for the, you know, half an hour's driving or whatever and a bit of fuel and uh, yeah, and plus it's, it's keeps contact happy so in the future she gets any bits you'll give me a shout so that's me done. Good to be back, I hope everyone's been well. Uh, I'm going to go off and, uh, and dry off and uh, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Take it easy YouTube, see you later. Oh, before I go. Welcome to all the new subs, because I keep forgetting to do that, and it's really bad and really piss poor. So yeah, welcome guys, thanks for joining me in the Blast Furnace sweat pit, and uh, I will catch you all next week. See you later.